All right. <clears throat> Odyssey of the Dragon Lords. Um, amazing campaign. Um, been doing this a long time, but Odyssey of the Dragon Lords is a campaign where I am trying to push myself to uh, try different things and um, elevate my game a little bit. And uh, one of the things that I have introduced in this campaign that I'm trying to be a bit more dedicated to is the harvesting of monster parts. Um, this is a Greek-themed game and in ancient uh, Greek myths. Um, one of the best parts about killing a monster was getting parts from the monster that you could then use for other stuff. So, um, yeah, I kind of wanted to carry that theme over. Uh, the game itself has a whole uh, mechanic in place where you can kill monsters um, and gather key ingredients to make key magic items um, for the game uh, that are like listed and everything. But I wanted to take it a little bit further, so I went and got a hold of Hammond's Harvesting Guide, and you can pick that up on the DM's Guild. It's got a sexy little dwarf man on the cover. Here, I'll bring it over real quick. There he is. Uh, let me zoom it out just a bit. There we go. Yeah, it looks like that. Hammond's Harvesting Guide. Um, there's actually two volumes of this. One covers the Monster Manual. One covers Mordenkainen's Tomb and Volos. So you have to kind of keep track of that. Doesn't do you any good for your homebrew monsters, for your Cobalt Press monsters, for your Monster of the Day monsters, or in my case, for my Thylea Odyssey of the Dragon Lord exclusive monsters. But... Um, as always, you could find something comparable and just bullshit um, the rest. Uh, so they killed some yetis. So all I did is I had this guy open. I searched yetis. I went to the yeti section. And basically, um, yetis fall under monstrosity. Monstrosity requires a knowledge monster, sorry, a knowledge nature check to see if you know what parts are harvestable from a yeti. Um, if you don't know what you're looking for, you can't actually harvest it. And then a check is made uh, with either a harvesting kit, which is its own type of proficiency uh, that you can learn in place of a different tool set, um, or a uh, something equivalent, like um, you could try to use survival or something like that. Um, but here you can see that, yeah, you can take Yeti hide and make boots of the winterlands. That's kind of hype. Um, or if you can get the claws off of them, you can make frost claw weapons. Um, and then if they don't feel like waiting to make magic items, they could always just sell the items um, to a vendor in town who would then sell it to a person, use it, that sort of thing. And some items only have um, a resale value because they, sort of like Rhino Horn, people think that the Yeti Tongue does stuff, and it really doesn't do much. Um, you know, but people still buy it uh, and sell it and that sort of thing. And this has been really, really fun and really cool. It does introduce some stuff. Um, if you're worried about it bloating your campaign with extra magic items, you could always lower the amount of magic item drops from other places and have that, you know, be covered by this, uh, this mechanic instead. But it has for at least two... But I think most of the six players, um, they enjoy the opportunity to fight a new monster because they want to find out what that monster can do after it is dead, what it can be harvested for. So, um, yeah, I uh, I don't think it's the right fit for every game. And, you know, as always, you're going to want to feel out your group and maybe even discuss the mechanic before you introduce it. But uh, I found it to be a lot of fun. Uh, especially if you've got a lot of Monster Hunter uh, gals and girls uh, in your group, uh, they're gonna they're gonna love something like this. So um, I'll link this in the description if you wanted to go check them out. Um, there are a lot of guides out there. I feel like uh, Hammonds are definitely the best uh, that are out there. So um, yeah, and then you too can throw a bunch of oversized Yetis at your party while they're trying to sleep, um, and see how it goes. All right, uh, there's going to be another video from the same session. Uh, so I guess I'll catch you in that video or the next video. All right, see you later.